Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about She-Ra and the Princess of Power. This is a, a season number five, a Netflix original animated series. And I have to say, I love this series so much, especially this season. Holy mother. First off, we had, we had one of the best bad guys ever. We had Horde Prime, who is the creepiest, baddest person who is just pure evil I've ever seen on this show. Now, Hordak was bad. Yeah, he did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of people, of course. But his motivations was totally different because all he wanted to do is prove to his brother he wasn't a defect. He wanted to prove to his brother that he wasn't worthless, that he, that he, wasn't, that he, he wasn't trash, that they needed to do disregard. So his motivation just came to, to trying to get his, like, pretty much get it, be part of the family again. That's pretty much all, all, all it was. Yeah, he did a lot of bad things, but you can tell it was good in him because of the relationship he had with Entrapta. How she pretty much didn't see his flaws and something, something wrong. She didn't see his flaws as something that somebody didn't be thrown away. She actually loved him because of his flaws. And because of that, they had a, a good friendship and a relationship between one another. It was also very sweet. Because while you watch me, says, oh my gosh, I actually feel sorry for, for Hordak. But, but this is the Horde Prime, dude? Oh no. There is no love here. There is no feeling of like this, he may be good. No, this dude is pure, scary, creepy evil. And the way he had his clones, like, worship him and say things about him, like, Lord Prime sees all, Lord Prime knows all, Lord Prime, I just, I just shut up. It's a creepy, it's a creepy reality. I just, no. Because even Catra, Catra was, like, wasn't completely scared of Hordak. No, she wasn't scared of him. She thought she could manipulate him, use him as she wants to, to get what she wants so she could gain more power, so she could rub him into um, uh, Adora's face. But, but when she realized she couldn't manipulate Horde Prime, she couldn't use Horde Prime. She couldn't do anything to stop him or do him all. And when you saw the fear in her face, and when, she, and when Glimmer was trapped in here, and Glimmer was pretty much telling her, um, yeah, I may be behind this glass, but you're trapped too. You think you got some freedom, but you don't. And you think you're helping? You're not. Because as soon as he thinks he doesn't need you anymore, he will get rid of you just like the same way he get rid of me. He does not need you. And you see her face and knowing that's, that's the, her case and knowing her fate was like this, oh crap, I'm going to die here. And this dude is scarier than Hordak. You saw a captain get scared to the point that it made her twitch sides to the good? You know this dude's creepy. Because Catra has been fighting her good nature and inside of her all the time. Anytime she had friends, she pushed them away. Anytime, anything that was good in her life that made her, that proved that she was a, a person, she pushed it away. Adora didn't want to fight her. Adora wanted to save her. Bring, 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 show her the light too. But nope. But this time, when you got an enemy that's so insane that is so scary i mean catcher said you know what i think i want to be a good guy now yeah you know you know you you know you hit the level and that whole lot of things happening in here i mean who are like mind controlling people getting under the control um people people getting their powers back like door managed to become sure again without using her old sword but but also because the power was inside of her the whole time eh, little cliche, little cliche there but i still enjoyed it also, um, Bo and um, Glimmer coming back together, becoming like a couple again. Now, only thing, only thing about this is though, even though I'm happy that they, um, Glimmer got sort of got sort of get her powers back and well, get, get get stronger there. The relationship between her and Bo was actually getting together. I, I really did enjoy that. I wish they kissed. I wish they did. I wish they did because you can tell they laid up. They they love one another, and then and then and I haven't had that moment. I just like oh, that's I miss, I thought it was a missed opportunity there. That's the only time I said, oh, that's a miss, right? That's a miss. That's a miss. Yeah. I wish I did. They keep sticking with this whole friendship thing. I guess we get it. They're friends. I get it. But they, you can tell that they care about each other deeper than that. So if they, if they kissed, it would have just, thank you. But, oh, well. I mean, we didn't get it with them. But we did get it with Catra and, she, and Adora. I just, oh, I think it's going to do that. I, I think it's going to happen. I not think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Because for the, for the longest period of time, all I kept thinking to myself, every time I saw them together, let's make out. That's all you got to do. If you just make out right now, the fighting will be over. That's all you have to do. Why would you just do that? They kept dancing around, they kept dancing around all this time. Bring it on the bush like this. You can tell that Adora loves her and Catra loves her. Let's make let's make her make out. That's, that's all you gotta do. And the problem is the fighting will be over. That's it. That's all that Catra wanted to know that Adora's gonna be there for. Her. That's all she wants that's all she wants to know. That's all she cares about. 
And she thought she thought that she left her for another people. That's what, that's what the whole fighting was about. All the fighting was because she was jealous of, every, of everybody else. She, she wanted she, the thing is though, Catra is very selfish. She's selfish. Because again, I think that that's the cat part of her. She loves Adora. Adora has always been there for her. But the thing is though, she doesn't want to share Adora with nobody else. So she thinks she, Adora is leaving her or betray leaving her for, for anything to her as a betrayal and to, to now evil. But if Dora just made out with her and said, no, I want you with me. I love you. I think, I think all this fighting would have ended from the start. But watching, like I said, watching Hordak in action, watching how he was chipping everybody, controlling them, having the good against the good, fighting one another, and I, like, oh, it was so, so messed up. But overall, good wins over evil. But to watching the whole entire journey and to watching to get to that point, I mean, I enjoy all these characters, watching their growth, how they change. The only thing about Adora that they keep doing, which I do not like, is the fact that she feels as though she got to do it all by herself. Like just, she has to keep learning this lesson over and over again. She feels as though she got to do it all by herself. It's a lesson she got to do almost in every season, almost every episode. And like this. She wants to do it alone. She feels as though she's the only person who can do it. She's she, 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 she She's the only one who has the possibility. And then that she realizes later on that, that she needs to depend on her friend to help her out through this. Because they, they wouldn't be there for her too. And then when they, when they finally come together, they save the day. I just, she, had, she, she had to do this in season number four, in season number three, in season number, until the first season. She has to keep going through the same lesson over and over again. And you keep thinking, why well, don't she learn that the, um, your friends are here to help you. You don't got to do it all by yourself. It doesn't all fall on you. But I just, she learns the lesson. She, 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 she benefits from, from, from learning the lesson. And then she did, then that she let other people help her. Then the, they save the day. But yet the next season, she goes through the same crap again. Said, why, why don't you, why are you going this again? We already learned this, we already learned this last, last season and the season before that. Even Catra had to point it out to her again. I just, what is wrong with you? Quit to think you gotta do it all by yourself. That's why we're here. <sighs> yeah, I know, I know. Other than the two points, other than the other two, two points, but the whole thing with, with, with Bo and Glimmer, and what's the situation with, with, with me, uh, uh, Dora? I think she gotta do it all alone again. I enjoyed the season a, a whole lot. We got to, we got to introduce we got another character on the show. I mean, Catherine gets gets a cat, a ghost cat thing. It's kind of cool. Things he could do. Um, Glimmer gets her father back, and they finally meet up this episode. I mean, it, it was in a first, a great first meeting in the first time. I mean, he was uncontrolled of Horde, a, a, a Lord of Horde Prime, and trying to kill his daughter. It was kind of dark, but other, other than that, things did work out. Like I said, this thing it was, it was it action in here, cool action scene, fight sequences. Um, it was very dark at times as well too, very creepy, but also had funny moments in here too. It, it can make things light and very really interesting, light and very really interesting. Watching Catra switch sides and become part of the group, and after they accept her in, I just yes, because we already got Scorpia, who's like one of my favorite characters on the show. I really do love Scorpia. Oh my god, I love Scorpia. I really do. And then have her on this, with this crew, and then when she when she when she finally turned dark again because of the trip inside of her, and then have her seen her like seen her trying to fight her way through this, and also be be there for her new, her new friends while at the same time uh, be under control of Hordak, Horde Prime was like this. Oh. even Hordak managed to free himself from from um, for a little bit. Yeah, but this thing was crazy, over the top, but it was so much fun, so much fun. It was done so well. Oh, I really enjoyed the season a lot. A lot. So to give this thing a grade, I would give it, I'll give it a solid A. I'll give it a solid A. Or maybe like an A minus, but an A minus, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a, I'll give it an A. I really did, I'll give it an A. So much fun. Highly recommend it. Check it out for yourself. Don't take my, don't take my word for it. Because from the, from, the, from the animation, to the character design, to the storytelling, how it was done, to the voice acting, I really did enjoy this a whole lot. It was so good. So, Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this, episode, this whole season of Shiwa. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully, you watch it. You will enjoy having fun watching it too. So, give me a chance to like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make 100,000 subscribers. I know my journey to get there. For all those who have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. It's so like I always say in my dreams of life, I am. The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.